Hi, this is Pete from 360 Visualize, and today we're doing a quick software comparison with the Rotograph Prime 3D CBCT and the CareStream CS8100 3D. And the scan we're going to be looking at today is an indentulous mandible that was taken on a CS8100 3D. It's exactly the same DICOM set we're running through both the softwares. And the computer hardware we're using, we're using a 2017 MacBook Pro running bootcamp. It's got 16 gig of RAM, a 2.6 gigahertz i7, and a very powerful 4 gigabyte Radeon Pro 460 graphics card. Let's have a quick look at the 3D render. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, we've got the villa in grey. As you can see, it's quite jerky. I'm moving the mouse very smoothly, but I'm getting a jerky image. If you compare this to the care stream in the top right hand corner in colour here, where it moves, it's very fluid. Um, this could make it very difficult to navigate around the scan. Okay, let's look at the, the important part of the scan here, the actual data itself. So with the viewer here, we move it around the NPR view, the uh, axial, coronal and sagittal views by grabbing hold of these bars and moving them around. Now, if you don't grab them in exactly the right place, it just increases the area that you're looking at, which can be a bit frustrating at times. So you can create an OPG view here by tracing a line along the axial view. You can also place virtual implants, although the software itself doesn't come with an implant library. You'll have to get that yourself from your implant manufacturer. You can also produce drilling guides. Um, and again, I haven't got any information on accuracy. I've spoken to uh, Nimro, and I've also spoken to Ambridge Ceramics, who make most of the drilling guides in the UK, and they haven't come across software as yet. Okay, and on to the CareStream 3D viewing software here. This is exactly the same patient running through the CareStream on the same computer. Um, this is the latest version of viewing software. The CareStream software is updated normally four or five times a year. And this is the May 2017 version. As you can see, it's a very smooth render of the 3D object. And you can see really good contrast on the 3D views on the MPR here, which makes it very easy to identify different parts of anatomy. For instance, here, it's really easy to see the ID nerve canal. As you can see now, as I'm pulling this blue bar through the OPG view, we can see a nice intersection of the mandible in the bottom right hand corner. This is a nice way to trace a nerve, or if you're looking at a maxilla to uh, check sinus levels, you can take really nice accurate measurements here from the crest of the bone to the top of the ID nerve. As well as a measuring tool, there's a full implant library and you can download pretty much any implant directly into your uh, library free of charge. And once you place the implant, it's very easy to manipulate it and move it around and get it into the ITIL position. And with a future release of software, you'll be able to export that directly into Blue Sky Bio or SMOP or whichever open guided surgery system you want to use. The software is such an important part of your buying decision when purchasing a CBCT. And that's a very quick comparison between the Rotograph Prime 3D and the CareStream CS8100 3D. If you'd like a demonstration in surgery, then give us a call on 01943 601 222. And thank you for your time.